Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage and welcome to episode 10 of Europa Universalis 4 as France. We're currently in this war over here with Brittany because they, not Brittany, with Normandy, sorry, because they didn't have any allies and I saw an easy opportunity to go in and jump on those guys. Uh, Naples just declared war against Aragon. Uh, in the last video, Burgundy did actually join a coalition against us. I'm not too worried about that because Austria has taken a massive chunk out of them and Burgundy hardly have anything left, so... I really don't care about that at all. Um, they are the only people in the coalition against us. If we actually go ahead and go ahead and look at the coalition minimap. Yeah, they're the only people in the coalition against us. I don't mind that too much. Uh, what we could do is we could go straight into a war with Burgundy and then obviously piece them out, which would mean if somebody else joined the coalition, Burgundy wouldn't be able to because they would have a truce. But either way, we need to make sure that we get um, Normandy sieged out first. We're also sending a diplomat over over here to Heinert, which was part of Burgundy, but got broken off after the uh, Austrian War. We're going to suck up to these guys and see if there's absolutely any chance of uh, vassalization with them. It's unlikely, but we'll certainly give it a go. Um, lose some money for 10 prestige or lose 5 prestige. We're not gaining a lot of prestige at the moment. It would be nice to get some. I don't mind losing a little bit of money because for the first time we're actually making some. Now, I could siege these out a little bit faster if I went and put my trade fleet over here and just dealt with the uh, the Normandy blockade, but I'm not too worried about that. Uh, it looks like uh, Nevers have got some um, patriots. There's a lot of national unrest in this game. One, thing, one of the things that Art of War really did was it made uh, rebels much more of a thing than they used to be before. So hopefully we'll get this war over relatively soon and then we can go ahead and take these provinces. We will have to core them, which is why I've been saving my administrative power. And uh, what are we up to now? We're actually at our uh, military tech five. Burgundy are at military tech six and they have entered into a coalition against me. It's very unlikely that they will actually attack. Uh, an Austrian has been elected as the new emperor of the HRE. That is hardly a surprise. So we'll let everything carry on there. How are we actually doing in terms of our um, enemies? Oh, Aragon's actually... Right, do we want to stay rivaled with Aragon or do we want to unrival Aragon and rival Austria? I think we'll just stay rivaled with Aragon because we might still get the opportunity to take some more Aragonese territory, which can be good for us because it means that we wouldn't then uh, be allowing Castile to form the nation of Spain. So that can be quite useful. Uh, you can move back here. You're just going to continue to do that. So we can get 10 prestige or 10 admin power. At this point, I'm going to take the 10 admin power. Uh, mainly because we are still uh, fighting a war over here and we may still uh, we may still be able to siege it out. Uh, we can't get artillery yet, can we? No. Uh, but we're still massively, massively below our force limit. So let's go ahead and just get a couple more infantry units. Um, loans, how are they doing? Because we've still got plenty of those. 1972... 19? 1472 on the 1st of December for 69 gold. So providing I don't spend anything, that'll be another loan that we're able to pay off. So... Let's avoid spending our monies for a while. I'm also going to be sucking up to my two remaining vassals over here and integrate them into France. Uh, and then we've just got to go ahead and um, take out... Oh, the Papal States actually got this little um, province down here now. That's interesting. I mean, we could certainly go ahead and uh, take Avignon from them. They are currently involved in a couple of wars over here. Um, they are allied with Aragon, Genoa and Savoy though, so it could be a little bit problematic. But let's go ahead and pay, repay that loan before we do anything else. Of course, we're going to get quite a bit of aggressive expansion just from um, from the this little war that we've got going on up here. So we do have to be careful. Let's just go up to speed 4 because there's not an awful lot else happening right now. Let's move you into Ile-de-France. You've arrived safely. Uh, Gain the claim on Luxembourg. That's actually quite nice. Let's go ahead and group you all together. There's Luxembourg there. Do we just want to go and take Luxembourg from Burgundy? I mean, we could do. Um, they're allied with Hungary and Tuscany, but I'm not necessarily sure that they would theoretically be able to do much damage to me. Again, it would be potentially a lot more aggressive expansion with... Um, it would be a lot more aggressive expansion with Austria. 
But we could certainly take like Cambrai and um, Luxembourg. So what's going to happen? Okay, those those guys have gone away. We can still build improvements. Still got a lot of loans coming due though. Uh, October 84. Probably not going to be able to get that one paid off. Unless this war ends before October. And then we could actually take some money from, uh, from Normandy. Uh, 10th of October. I'd say it's unlikely that it's going to happen. It might do though. Um, so we could either lose 30 admin power and 61 ducats, which would give us uh, extra morale, extra army tradition, and extra prestige. Until, for 20 years, that's actually not bad. Or we can lose 5 prestige. I'm, I don't mind losing the admin power. I'd prefer not to lose the money because I wanted to get that loan paid off. But there's not an awful lot that I can do about that now. At least, yeah, that won't tick in time for the loan, I don't think. It might do. Um... Gain a military engineer, which only counts if we hire him. Yeah, we didn't actually get the siege right there. That's a little bit of a shame. So the question is, once we've finished this war here, do we then want to try and go ahead and um, declare war on Burgundy? Let's go ahead and peace out over here first. Let's go and see. Oh, we don't have a diplomat to send. No, of course we don't. Let us bring one back from Foix. There we go. Now we can sue for peace over here. So we basically just want to go for full annexation. It is going to cost us... Um, it's only 13 aggressive expansion, which isn't too bad. Um, 19 against Burgundy, England. Austria's the main pain. We get 15 with Austria. I mean, we could go ahead and annex them. And just try and... Uh, sorry, vassalize them. Because if we vassalize them... See, vassalizing gives us 11 um, aggressive expansion. So we might as well just go ahead for full annexation. And you don't have any money. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. So let's bring you guys back. Now, do we make a go on Burgundy? Because they do have... They do have some allies. They're allied with Hungary, which I think are all the way over here somewhere. Where's Hungary? I never remember where anywhere is. My geography of Europe is absolutely terrible. Um, yeah, Hungary's here. So they're actually a mile away from Hungary. Hungary's going to do absolutely jack to help them. And who else are they allied with? Tuscany. Tuscany are down here somewhere. Is that Tuscany? Yeah, so whether or not Tuscany would be able to get through, I really don't know. Um, Burgundy does still have a uh, military tech of six versus my five. Uh, what do they have in terms of troops, though? Let's have a quick look. Burgundy. They only have 6,000 troops. Would any of my allies come to my aid? No. No. And it would be very, very difficult to get any decent amount of war score as well. Mainly because I wouldn't be able to siege out. Because th the war score that you get is based on a percentage of the territory that you've got sieged. Against all of the people involved in the war. Now obviously Hungary is absolutely massive and I'm not going to be able to siege any of their territory out. So I'd get a fair amount of decent ticking war score from taking Luxembourg, and if I wanted to get 100%, I'd either ha I'd have to wait for five years, but saying that, Luxembourg is also part of the HRE, and if I took that right now, that would also really tick off Austria. And I'd rather not tick off Austria too much, not until we're a little bit stronger, not until we're a little bit bigger, not until I have recovered a little bit more. I know this might seem like a real sort of pacifist approach at playing France. But as I've said before, I'm not all that good a player at this game, so I do have to be very, very careful. Um, let's just go ahead and get... Uh, well, we can only afford one armory. We do need to call these provinces, of course. I almost forgot that. Uh, 120 admin power to call this one, and co is 60 admin power, because, of course, we already had a claim there, so that makes that a little bit cheaper. Um, we can go back to uh, Foix and start to improve our relations there again. Because remember, we do want to get all of our vassals um, annexed. Uh, we need another 
uh, administrative advisor, missionary strength or production efficiency. We're not doing any religious conversions right now, so let's go for the production efficiency. That is going to help us in terms of cash. We've also got a little bit more coastline now as well. Um, so, okay, heresy. We can either lose five prestige, we get some local unrest, we get negative tax modifier, negative manpower modifier. Uh, it's only one province, though. Or we could actually lose 30 Diplo power. Uh, I've got a fair bit of Diplo power at the moment, so I'm happy to take a little bit of a hit on that for now. Uh, what I was thinking of doing was, is it possible we could build a few ships? Because we are quite um, below our naval force limit. Would be nice to get a few more light ships. That would allow us to have a little bit more trade power. Obviously, it might be worth getting some heavies and getting some... Um, transports so even the ottomans are even sieging out england england are having a really tough time over here which is good i'm fine with that um because we've lost uh, well we, we never had provence but once we get provence and we will eventually get provence we'll have a little bit more coastline down there and uh, when we get Brittany on board we'll have a lot of uh, extra coastline from Brittany. we are going to have to work out how we're going to get Brittany though because they still really 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 don't like um the idea of us being uh a, a diplomatically vassalized i've got to be careful to make sure that nobody else vassalizes them let's say they are actually in a royal marriage and allied with australia and savoy uh, australia austria and savoy uh austria aren't uh, austria are currently in a war so it might be a good time to go and take Brittany. actually how much aggressive exp expansion do i have with austria 12 and we're losing uh, 2.4 yearly. England are also in a massive war. So they're going to be quite war exhausted. I could literally go and stomp on Brittany and I could probably go and take them all. Although we are allies, which means we'd have to break the alliance first. And that would give us a stability hit. So, again, it's a very, very difficult one to, uh, to decide that one. Um, we've got our reputation up as high as we can with these guys. We could offer them an alliance. Because we're not actually over our diplomatic relations anymore. We have exactly the number of diplomatic relations that we're allowed to take. Um, obviously we can't vassalize them because they don't have a high enough level of improvement of us, uh, approval of us yet. We do have some aggressive expansion which is being burnt off. So let's go ahead. Let's go and offer them an alliance. And we'll royal marry them. Just as soon as we get our diplomat back. So that's put us up to 162. Now. Uh, yeah, tax base is still a problem. And of course they're a member of the empire which doesn't help. Yeah, I should have checked that first, really. Again, that was just me being a little bit derpy. Fine, we'll keep them on as an ally. Uh, we will get um, a couple more of our vassals annexed shortly, so that means we'll have a few less uh, relations to have to worry about. Uh, Nevers, what's going on with you? Nevers actually currently doesn't have... Um we don't have a CB against Nevers yet. Uh, let's go in and fabricate a claim against Nevers. So we can go and take Nevers back. Um, Burgundy no longer considers France a rival. That's interesting. And they're no longer a valid rival for me, which again is makes perfect sense. So let us go ahead now and rival Austria. Because obviously Castile is our friend. Uh, we should suck up to Castile a little bit. We will do that a little bit l later. We are going to go ahead and take Nevers as soon as we've managed to fabricate a claim on them. Because it's just going to be very, very easy to do that. So what have we got here? We can either gain one base tax in Ile-de-France, which is very, very nice. Um... But they would get some local unrest for 10 years. Or we could gain one base tax in Normandy. Well, I'm going to say France. Because the thing is, you might as well gain one... Or we can gain... Or, or a free stability. Ooh. Right. I look at it this way. Stability is nice because overall, one stability would probably give me more money per month than having one base tax in Ile-de-France. However, what you've got to remember is... 
You can buy stability, you can't buy base tax, and I could quite easily get another event in a month that makes me lose a stability. So, I'm going to go for the one base tax. Did I, or did it tell me which one I get the base tax in, or was it both of them, or either of them? Could have been both of them. Obviously, Normandy's going to get some local unrest. That is mainly due to the fact that it's currently being uh, currently being converted. Uh, we could go ahead and give it some uh, extra local autonomy, but I don't think we need to. Uh, Co has now been integrated, so there's still a little bit of unrest there. I don't mind going ahead and giving that a little bit of extra local autonomy because that does reduce its unrest right down. That is fine. Uh, almost 50% of the way through that... Um, that claim on Nevers. We can repay that loan. Normandy is now considered part of us. Now, that's, they still have 1.3% national unrest. Permanent tax system, plus 5%. And what about over here? Um, permanent tax system. Yeah, so we actually technically got two base tax because we got one in Ile de France and we actually got one in Normandy. Uh, we can invest in a new technology. We can go for diplomatic tech. We are technically ahead of time. Let's go ahead and grab it for now. And then eventually, well, when we get our next administrative tech, we'll be able to take the another idea group. And then maybe we'll get a diplo uh, idea group that time. Maybe something like um, expansion ideas. So we can go, uh, well, exploration ideas. So we can get some colonists. Or maybe we could go for something like um, religious ideas. We haven't had a center of reform yet, which is really, really nice. So we'll see how it goes. So we could get um, another idea. We could get that military drill, that 15% of armies. Uh, what do we like on military tech? We are still behind the times, but I think that that extra 15% morale of armies will be absolutely fantastic. The next one as well also gives us a plus one land leader maneuver. And then we'll get um, an extra 15% income from vassals and lesser diplomatic annexation cost. Again, probably should have waited until I got that before I annexed a lot of these vassals. But I was so massively over the number of... Um, vassals that I had or diplomatic relations that I had that it was making life a little bit difficult so let's go ahead and move these guys down into Nemours. Nevers do you st right never still don't have anybody on their side so we're going to go ahead and declare war Castile will actually come in on this war but I don't really need you to so I'm going to say no let's declare war and march in they haven't really got a chance of doing anything over here. We're just going to march in. Um, oh, they've insulted us. Well, good luck with good good luck with that. Uh, you're going to move around there. We're actually going to split, and the other half is going to move straight into Nevers. And my vassal's also going to come in and try and catch them as well. I think we're actually going to get them before they uh, before they get out of there, which is fine. So this should be a stat wipe, I would have thought. I'd be very surprised if it isn't. And it is a stack wipe, so let's group up. Let us detach a siege, and then we'll move the rest of the army up to Ile de France. And I'll pop that up to speed four, because we don't really need to see what's going on there. As you can see, we do have our um, vassals involved in the fight, but that's fine. We should win that quite easily. So what do we get here? We can either get um, plus two national unrest for two years. Or we can lose 33 prestige. Now, it's a bit crappy. I'm going to take the national unrest. And the reason for that is... And in fact, again, I should have probably checked this before. Um, yeah, I did have a national... A minus three national unrest guy. But he must have been the guy that died. I really should check these things, you know, before I accept them. But still, an extra two national unrest isn't all that bad. It's only really Normandy that's that's got a problem right now. Um, we could start repaying some of these loans... Yeah, so that's another loan paid off. How how many loans do we have now? How ten loans? Still quite a few, and we're still nowhere near our force limit. And right, let's just quickly pause. Do we want armories or do we want temples? We could get some temples in. We've already got temples in a lot of our provinces, but gaining some additional money would be nice. Um, We've also got these ships. We, we're constantly set to go home at war, so let's group those guys all up together. That's fine. 
Shouldn't take too long for this war to be over. It should be nice and easy to win. We will get a little bit of expansion. Again, some of it will probably be with Burgundy. Going to keep my eye on Burgundy. Uh, if they ever lose any... See, they've got another ally now. They're allied with the Hess. But um, maybe if they end up in another war with Austria, I can use that and jump in and take Cam uh, Cambrai. Uh, what about Flanders? You are allied still with Savoy and Bravia. Might be able to go in and take some of that stuff. But uh, that province isn't part of the HRE. So we could certainly try and go in and take Artois. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Certainly a plan for the future. Provincial unrest. Still should be fairly manageable. Yeah, it's still mainly just Normandy. So I don't have to worry too much about that. I know we're over our diplomatic um, relations. As soon as we're no longer at war, we can try and um, integrate uh, Armanac. Which are these guys here. Won the Siege of Nevers, so let's go ahead and sue for peace. Obviously, we're just going to go for full annexation. That does give us some overextension, but it only gives us 6.5 aggressive expansion, so we're not too bothered about that. So they've got no money to take. Let's go ahead and send demands, and we will need to call them, which will be quite cheap. 16 months, 90 admin power. We do have a claim. And of course, we do lose a bit of reputation with some of our vassals because of the the uh, aggressive expansion still. Go ahead and group those together. Another loan to repay. Can't afford to repay that one, so we'll extend it. Excuse me a second. Okay, very sorry about that. A little bit of a dry throat, but that's probably a good point to end the video. I think we've done okay over the last few videos. We've managed to... Um, retake Normandy and co even though we lost them we've managed to retake Nevers we're no longer the target of a coalition by Austria we are target of a coalition by Burgundy or at least we were the last time I checked indeed we still are but Burgundy are hardly a threat they only have four five uh, five provinces left um Brittany was still struggling to get on board I would have liked to have vassalized them but um yeah, it's just not really happening at the moment. Uh, either way, uh, we've got a few more vassals here that we can annex later on, which we will certainly do. And we'll certainly then be turning our sights towards Provence and trying to wipe them out. And we will be trying to take uh, Burgogne as well, because I think that is actually part of the French region. It should be, yeah. So that is part of the French region. And so, of course, are these uh, three provinces over here. So we are, are going to have to work in uh, taking these over. Uh, we might even be able... Well, that belongs to Provence anyway. Uh, these guys have got a neutral attitude towards us. Got a little bit of aggressive expansion. We might be able to diplo vassalize them, but we'll have to see how that goes. Anyway, for the time being, that's the end of the video. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you are still enjoying Europa Universalis 4. And I'll see you on the next video. Until then, goodbye for now.